It's time for Wacky World Studios Sketching with Steven, featuring art director Steven Walker. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas and happy holidays from us here at Wacky World Studios. We've got a special episode in store for you today of Sketching with Steven. Today we're going to be doing a holiday themed character. We're going to be doing one of our reindeer. Um, I pulled a couple of reindeer characters ahead of time so you can see some of them. These are some of the, the baby reindeers here, maybe like a little Rudolph. So at the end of the drawing session today, if you want, you can even color your drawing, maybe give him a little red nose to help Santa find his way through the snow. So before we get started drawing our reindeer, we have to get loose. We've got to loosen up. We've got to wave those arms. There you go. Nice circles. Remember your, your shoulder is a ball joint, so you want to get nice round shapes. So make sure you rotate those shoulders. Flap those arms a little, get all that looseness out there. Okay, and once you're nice and loose, go ahead and start by practicing a few circles. I've already started a couple circles before, but we'll go ahead and add to my circle drawing. Just go round and round a few times, almost like, uh, like Christmas ornaments on a tree, like little, little snow globes. Okay. Once you feel nice and loose, we're gonna get started drawing our reindeer. And our reindeer, just like all of our other characters we've drawn in this series, starts with a circle, okay? And we're gonna put that right about the center of our page. And again, let's do it about the size of a snow globe. So this is a Christmas-themed episode. Get that Christmas ornament shape, nice and round. There we go. And once you have a nice circle that you're happy with, we're gonna put guidelines on it. Again, these are just to help you place the feature on your characters. And then when at the end of the drawing, you can always erase them if you're drawing with pencil. So let's go ahead and do our vertical guideline. It'll go top to bottom and curve over towards the right side. Sort of creates a crescent moon there, you know, at night when Santa's delivering his presents. And then at the bottom of that circle, probably about three quarters of the way down, we're gonna do a, a horizontal guideline that goes left to right. That's gonna curve towards the bottom of your page. Okay, so the very first feature we're going to draw on our reindeer character, we're gonna draw his mask, okay? And his mask is this color separation. It goes around his eyes, okay? So to start that mask off, it's almost like an egg shape and it sits right on top of your horizontal guideline. So you're gonna draw a large egg shape. It takes up a good amount of the, the space inside that circle. So just kind of lightly sketch it in first. There you go, there's that mask shape. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. This is gonna be on the edge of your circle his head is turned, so you're not going to see quite as much of the mask on this side of the circle. Draw that side of the mask in. Now at the top of his mask, he has little eyebrows. Um, those just kind of curve up, almost like little uh, teardrop shapes, just at the top. And his eyebrows are, are uh, black, so go ahead and just shade those in. Scribble back and forth. Go. Okay, now we'll come back down to the bottom of the mask, and down there, he's a happy reindeer. It's the happiest time of year, so we gotta have those cheeks just nice and happy, pushing up into that mask a little bit. It's a little bump down there, and you'll draw one on each side. Just a little curved line there. Okay, and then on top of that cheek, let's go ahead and put in his eye shapes. And his eye shapes are actually going to be two more eggs. They're just a little smaller than the ones that we drew for his mask. It'll be about half the size. So you'll just draw a little egg shape in there for one eye shape. There you go. And the same thing on this side. Okay, and I'm gonna come back to his eyes a little later um, and we'll, we'll do his pupils at the end. 
Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and move on to the nose, okay? So the nose on the reindeer, especially Rudolph, is the most important part because that's how they find their way through the snowstorms on Christmas Eve. So let's go ahead and do a little bump for his nose. This is actually gonna create his muzzle. It starts right about the center of your circle where the guidelines meet, and it's gonna curve almost outside of your circle. It's just a little bump there. And that creates that, that long muzzle on the reindeer. And at the end of that muzzle is where his nose will be. So let's go ahead and put that nose shape on there. His nose is almost like a, like a guitar pick, a little rounded triangle almost. And again, you can color your nose if you want. I'm drawing with a black pen, so I'm just gonna shade mine black. But if you wanna make yours red, go ahead and be creative. You can even leave a little highlight if you want. It'll make his nose look nice and shiny. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna start the bottom of his mouth, okay? So we're gonna finish off that muzzle. And to do that, his mouth shape is actually gonna curve off the bottom of his nose, and it's gonna be um, like a very wavy line. It'll be a very wavy curve. So you'll curve off the bottom, and it's kinda gonna go up a little bit, and then back down. Create that nice wave. And then it's gonna curve back up to create his smile. He's a happy little reindeer. At the top of his smile, go ahead and do the smile line there. It's the bottom of his cheek, just a little curved line. Okay, and that finishes off that muzzle. So now the next thing is his lip. We've got to finish off the bottom of his mouth here. And to do that, it's actually going to connect to his cheek. So we're going to start just below the muzzle with the lip, and it's going to curve down. And then it'll curve over to the side then it'll go back up to the side of your circle. And that's what creates his, his cheek there. There you go. So the next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and give um, his neck and the lower part of his body just so he's not a floating head on our page. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a neck. It's gonna curve down off the line you just drew. There's the the back of his neck there. And then the front of his neck will be a little bit closer to the front of his mouth here. So there's his neck. Okay, and then off the front of his neck, let's give him a couple little, you know our favorite shape, those shark fins. Let's give him a couple little shark fins there. That'll give him some fur, just to create a little bit of a, a chest. He's got a furry chest there. Okay, so now that we have the front of his chest, we're actually gonna do the color separation. His chest is actually a different color from the rest of his body. So to do that, it's just another curved line coming down. Follows the same curve as his neck. Okay, and then just some more shark fins. That'll create some more fur where that color separation is. Okay, and if you wanna give a, a hint at where his front leg is, you can draw a little curved line coming down there. That's his front leg. Now on the back side, well, let's draw a little bit of his back. He's gonna have a little bump right there where his shoulder is, and then another longer line, which will be his back. So there you go. All right, and that's the, the lower part of his body there. Okay, so now we're gonna move back up to the top of his head, and the next thing we need to draw are his ears, okay? Now, our reindeer's ears are very big, and we're gonna draw another guideline to help us draw those in. So about, uh, probably about 45 degrees here, we're gonna draw a letter D. It's a very light letter D to create that, that ear shape. Okay. It's actually a backwards letter D. And that's your guideline for that ear. So starting at the top of that letter D, we're gonna do a long S curve. It'll curve down and then back to the head. So there's that long letter S. And it'll curve up to the top. That's basically that inside flap of his ear. Um, and then if you want, you can go ahead and trace over the bottom of the letter D. 
And that's the outside of his ear. Go ahead and make that line a little darker. There you go. Now, the color around his ear is actually a darker color, so we're gonna basically draw the same two lines just once again. Just kinda follow that same curve around. Do the same up here. Okay, and like I said, that's a, that's a darker color. So go ahead and shade that part of the ear in. You can just scribble it, just like you did with the nose and the eyebrows. Just scribble it in. Create that darker ear color. There we go. Okay, so for the top of his ear now, we have um, just a little flap of skin. And that's going to curve down from the top here, not where the flat side of your letter D is. It'll just kind of curve down into his, into the head there, just into the circle a little bit. Okay, and we'll do another little curve line off the bottom, create that bottom flap. And there is a little muscle that connects his ear to his head. It's almost like a little letter J kind of curves off and hooks, and that's that muscle that holds that ear onto his head. Okay, that finishes off that first ear. So then, um, the next part we're gonna draw one of his antlers, okay? And his antlers are a bunch of letter U's. It's a bunch of U shapes. So the first one is actually right above the mask here, and you're gonna start with that first U shape, just right above that. There's our letter U. Okay. And then off of that U shape, there's gonna be another one that's kind of like a cup almost. It curves up on one side a little higher than it does on the other. So it creates sort of like a little cup for that antler. And that is the letter U. You just kind of followed that line through. And then we're gonna do a smaller one on the inside of that shape. So another smaller U. And then this one will actually connect. So a lot of letter U's to create this antler here. There you go, there's the first antler. Behind that antler is actually where his, his other ear is. So it's, it's hiding back there. So again, that's another D shape. It's gonna kind of poke out from behind the antler. You might see a little bit of it there. Um, but then you're gonna have that line curve out and then back down, kind of hidden behind his head. And that's his other ear. Okay, and he still has that, that color separation around his ear. So you're gonna draw another line to do that color separation. And then again, shade that in just like you did with the other ear. Now the top of your circle actually becomes the top of his head, so I'm just gonna go back over that line. Just make it a little bit more defined. Just kinda darken it just a little bit. There you go, there's the top of his head. Maybe around the back side too here. Okay, and then we have one more antler to draw. That one's another U shape that's gonna be hidden behind his head here. So you're gonna draw one U here. Again, it has that, that kind of curved, um, very round shape to it. And that's just hidden behind. There you go. Now there's a little uh, a little bump there where his, his uh, antler connects to his head. So just draw a little curved line right there. It's kind of between his mask and the, and the antler. All right, the last but not least, we're gonna do those pupils, okay? The, the iris and the pupils. So that's gonna be a series of three circles, three ovals. Okay, so we'll draw them in the corners of his eyes. So there's one and do the other. Okay, and inside that you'll draw another circle. 
then if you want to give them a little highlight, draw another circle in there, and then just shade in the middle pupil there. And that'll be his, his pupils. Okay. Now in our drawing, he has a little bit of an eyelid too, so if you want to draw an eyelid, you can, you can draw a little curve line at the top of his eye. That kind of gives him a little bit of a, a closed eye look. Okay, and there you have it. There's our reindeer. So let's go ahead and sign our drawings. Okay, and put your name on it. Be proud of your artwork. Now, you know, these, these drawings could make great Christmas presents for, for maybe parents or grandparents or friends. So, you know, maybe you wanna dedicate it to someone, you know, have fun with your drawing, of course. Um, once again, thank you so much for drawing with us here today. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, Happy of hol Holidays from us here at Wacky World Studios. Uh, thank you again and God bless. We'll, we'll see you next time. Quack, quack.